ID to speak to your supervisor? Is that what you're telling me? No. Okay, I didn't speak why, to your supervisor. Why do you need to speak to your supervisor? Because I requested what to speak to him. That? Because I requested to speak to him and he's here. Okay. So what's your point? He's here, I need to speak with him. He's got you've got no part you of the scene, right? But you, you want can, to speak to our supervisor. You can you can speak to him. Okay. Yeah. But you'll be in handcuffs, it'll be at the jail. Is that what you want to do? I need to speak to your supervisor. Is that what you want to do? I need do? to speak to your supervisor. Why don't you understand it? You put yourself in this situation right here. You see that? You're on on what? Property. Private or public? Oh, hi, good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for future video notifications. This video is from YouTube channel, Do Bato Say. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credit where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments. And as always, guys, if you would like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. It's Gary Saint Do you have your information? Driver's license? What's that? Do you have your driver's license or name that person? For what? Because now you're a witness to this crime that we're doing. What crime is that? The crime that we got these people in the back of these cars for. I don't know what crime they committed. You don't have to know. Well, well okay, well, how do I know what they did, though? I don't know what they did. Okay, they broke the law. They're in possession of narcotics. That's why they're in the back of our cars. Okay, now you're telling me that, okay? Yeah. So, do you have your name and date of birth? No. Or a driver's license? No. So you're going to refuse to be listed as a witness since you're, you sat here and videotaped the entire scene? If you need a copy of the video, I can give you a copy of the video. Well, yeah, but we're also going to need to identify you in our report that you were here videoing. So when we come to get a copy of that video, we can get that. All right, let me talk to your supervisor. He said that he won't want to give us our name, his name or date of birth until he talks to our supervisor. So. And you're probably going to end up going to jail because right now you're witnessing a crime. Well, I asked to talk to a supervisor. He's here, so why can't I speak with him? Because you're refusing to give your information, you'll be going to jail for failure to identify as you're a witness to a crime. So you're I need to give you my so situation. I need to give you my ID to speak to your supervisor. Is that what you're telling me? No. Okay, I didn't speak why to your supervisor. You, why do you need to speak to your supervisor? Because I requested what to speak to him. That? Because I requested to speak to him, and he's here. Okay. So what's your point? He's here. I need to speak with him. He's got. You've got no part you of the scene, right? But you, you want can, to speak to our supervisor. You can, you can speak to him. Okay. Yeah, but you'll be in handcuffs. And it'll be at the jail. Is that what you want to do? I need to speak to your supervisor. Is that what you want to do? I need do? to speak to your supervisor. Why don't you understand it? You put yourself in this situation right here. You see that? You're on, on private what? property. Private right now. or public? You're on private property right now. Okay, what is that? What does that have to do with anything? Do you have permission to be here? Did the owner trespass me? Well, he actually, this guy. He didn't want you here. This guy actually did Where? tell us he wanted you to leave. That guy right there? Yeah. So. Trey, what's his name? So what's your point? What's, his, what's the guy's name that don't want me here? So do you want to identify yourself so we can list you as a witness to this crime or? I'm, I'm, I'm just asking a simple question. The guy that you just talked to, he doesn't want me here. Yes. So is he trying to ask me to go ask him to tell you to leave himself? Don't you, do you already have that notice? Yes, he told us when he came over here and gave me his business Then why card. do you have to go ask him then? If you would like for him to tell you himself. He can tell me if, whatever he needs to do. If, you, if, if he needs to tell me to leave, I'll leave. Simple as that. He needs to give me a, he needs to give me a warning before, I, before you can trespass me. Well, now, in, until you identify yourself, now you're forced to not leave. All right, I need to speak to your supervisor. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Don't worry about it. You'll get it in a minute. What's up, Buck? You guys got the same name plates? Yeah, Jeffy yeah. Chelly, 305. You like that? You got, same the, name same, plates. you got the same name plates? Yeah. Same person or? Yeah, we're, we're the same person. We're all one. He's, he's the same person as me. There's obviously two of us standing here, but we're the same people. All right, must be twins or something. Yep, that we are. Be. So why'd you come over here? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? I don't. So you just like coming and getting in the middle of the crime scenes and filming them? I mean, it probably would have been a good idea to keep walking today. Where'd you come from? That's not relevant. It's not relevant? No, it's not. So you just How do we know you didn't get out of this vehicle? Go really? behind and you're with them and you walked over. Did you, did you just really from? ask me that? Did I seriously just ask you that? Is that a serious question? Yeah, it actually is a serious question. Why would you randomly walk up to this and then fail to identify yourself? I already told your supervisor what I do. I'm That's a journalist. Really, I really don't care what you do. It doesn't matter. So, you have a question? Uh, no, I just, I'm just waiting on this business card and I'm out of here. 
That's it. I gave you, I gave you my name and badge number. I asked for a business card. You said you were going to go. I told you I don't have it. We don't have any name. Okay, what's your name and badge number? My name is Cameron Chelly. My badge number is 315. Okay, thank you. For, all right, now. Like I said, I already told you, I'm a journalist. I gather content hey, for stores. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah, we had no problem with that, man. We just don't like the space. Uh -huh. I don't know, everybody, I mean, CNN could come down here and pop it. We wouldn't tell them to leave. I mean, there's no difference just because you have a smaller camera. I don't care. Right. Just don't get, just be careful where you go, okay? That's right. why that's what we're trying to get at. That's, that's fine. I have no problem with you videotaping that. There's no issue. We don't do anything wrong. And that, okay. that's what I told you earlier. Right. I didn't have a now, problem with you videotaping. No, sorry. Sir. Am I free uh, to go uh, or am I being tamed? Uh, can you keep your name in there? Hey, baby. Are you going to give him your name and date of birth or not? I'm talking to your sergeant right now. He's, he's not talking to you. He's on the phone. I'm not talking to you either. I'm talking to your sergeant. You, it doesn't matter. Guess what? We both have the same job. He's a higher rank than one you. way or another. He's a higher rank than you. That's why I speak. That's why, this is who I have to speak with. He's here. That's so that's great. who I'm speaking with. That's great. Okay. But I made contact with you before he did. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not sure you're really versed in the law good enough in the fact that you're failing to ID. You will ID or you officer. will not leave here. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to your supervisor, supervisor right now. What would you say your first name was again? What? What'd you say your first name was again? He told him, I just forgot it. Because I would like to address you by first name. You can address me by sir, okay, Mr. Whatever so the case may be. Earlier when I spoke to you and I asked you to move back and you refused, did I did I not tell you that it was okay to film us? And I encourage you to keep filming us. I didn't say you didn't. Okay, Nobody so has a problem with I, you filming. Obviously, y'all guys are like right up in my face right now. Because you inject yourself into the crowd. I'm not up in your face. If I were up in your face, then you right. would know. You need anything from him? You good? I'm oh, good. Do you want to make the place up to him? Okay. Are you trying to identify for us? Yeah. All right. Oh. Still here. All right. Great argument. You're not doing anything wrong. And, uh, but here's the deal. They got a point there. I mean, this. You're. Worst case scenario is that your camera would be a part of evidence, but we're not going to go there because I have a camera. I have plenty of cameras going, so I don't need your camera. No. I don't think I need your video, man. I'll be honest with you. I, I got plenty of video rolling, but I'm just telling you, the worst case scenario is something were major. Yeah, we would need as much as we could. Okay. I mean, uh, so that's, just be careful with, with, when you get into whatever you're doing. I know this act the first time. It's going to be the last time. Thank you, man. Be careful. No, this deputies are the very definition of tyrants. They were absolutely con convinced that the uh, P2C would either ID themselves or go to jail. It's clear they violate individuals' rights on a daily basis while on duty. Interestingly, uh, there is a full follow-up video where the P2C filed from formal complaints against these two deputies. When the supervisor wasn't perfect, he eventually re reentered in his guard docks. The officers had climbed the P2C was on private property. But remember, in such cases, the person in charge of the property must pro personally ask do individual to leave. That never happened here. Law enforcement officers often try to control the situation and uh, intimidate people into actions they can't legally enforce. In the United States, citizens have the uh, have a First Amendment right to record law enforcement officers per performing their duties and threatening arrests for exerting that right is a clear violation. Furthermore, attempting to coerce someone into giving ID without a reasonable suspicion of a crime infringes on their First Amendment rights, which per, uh, protects against unreasonable searches, searches and seizures. Officers must have a valid reason to ask for ID, just maintaining to edit your name to their reports isn't enough. Pitosi has been in similar situations, situation before, before uh, which led to the case of case from 
uh, Turner v. Driver, a significant uh, victory for uh, the First Amendment and the right to record law enforcement during their process. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to honor the video. Make sure you use the link to show them some love. And check out his most recent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos. Bye.